Welcome back, Mouseketeers. I am Christina Kay. We've got a lot of new subscribers the past couple of weeks, so welcome. Thanks for joining our little Disney Center of YouTube. This has honestly been such a great outlet for me to get to talk about Disney, interact with you guys. I love reading all your comments down below. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope you guys are doing well. This is part two of my collection series. I'm a little out of breath because I've been lugging all of my backpacks <laughs> into this area. I need a little scenery change today. And there's a lot. We've got a mixture of Loungefly mini backpacks, larger backpacks, so let's hop into it. If you missed part one, by the way, my ear collection, I will link that down below. I'm in a very Pixar kind of mood today. I've been binging a bunch of them on Disney Plus, and they're just such great movies. We'll talk Pixar later this week, but let's talk backpacks. Let's start with the Loungefly backpacks. Everyone loves Loungefly backpacks. Like the ears, I want to show you what I store these babies in because these are precious cargo. I have these bins also from Home Goods and TJ Maxx. Oh, they're heavy. That just store a couple of them. And like my ears, I categorize them. I'll let you know. <laughs> so these are Disney Parks Loungefly backpacks. Uh, it's no particular order, but this one happens to be the first one that I ever got. I love this baby so much. We've got this like this Disney Parks mix. Um, like most of the Loungefly backpacks or Dooney and Burke bags or Vera Bradley's, the patterns are different on all of them. And I said, if I found the one that I liked, I will get it. It was fate. And this was definitely fate. We got a couple of my favorites on here. Big Al, Peter Pan's Flight, Goofy, my man. It's a small world. Nice castle and Peter Pan's Flight on the side. They do still carry this one on shopdisney.com. Look at that back. Oh, love, love so awesome. These backpacks actually fit a lot more than you think in them. I do carry a lot. I kind of have a reputation for taking a lot of things with me and these fit more than you would ever expect. Now with this print I also have the ears and I have, which I've never used yet, <laughs> the wallet which again Peter Pan's Flight, Castle, Goofy, yes yes yes. And we got Big Al on the back. These honestly are my favorite wallets to the Loungefly wallets. So I got that one last year at Walt Disney World and this one I got on my last trip. This is the Park Life bag. I love the colors. Oh, wow, I'm really out of breath from looking at all these. <laughs> we got my man on the front there, Goofy, feeding popcorn and Chippendale. We got Mickey and Minnie in a teacup, the castle, Fantasmic. The details on these bags are just absolutely amazing the back. We got some more goodies. Donald's so cute. This one was a gift, a very nice surprise. They don't sell this one anymore. You may be able to find it on like Amazon or eBay. It's the Mickey Mouse Club backpack. Someone actually picked this up for me at Character Warehouse for like $25. It's just the same print all around. I like the black straps on this. I will say. And last year for my birthday, my friends got me the matching wallet. And I also have the shirt of this print and it's, it's bad. <laughs> this one was kind of an impulse buy, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, Valentine's Day weekend, my boyfriend and I spent it in New York City, it was so much fun. I do live in New York, but on Long Island. So we went into the city, uh, Times Square, gotta go to that Disney store and they do carry some park stuff. I like this lounge fly backpack. <laughs> this is another all over print. You got a little retro Mickey Mouse Club in there, but you've got Goofy, you've got Big Al and the Country Bears. It's a park map and that is totally my thing. Again, with the black straps, you can tell I have not used this yet. Just so classic vintage. This kind of reminds me of like the stuff that you would see when you first started going to Disney. Well, when I first started going to Disney back in the early nineties. There's a good close big gal there. I love the feel of these bags too, because they're known for their prints on the inside as well. We've got just Mickey's on there. Because I should open up the other ones. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> the inside of this one is just all solid red and it's stuffed pretty good right now, so we're just gonna leave that zipped. The inside of this guy kind of reminds me of like Peaches and Cream, that wallpaper there. Some of them have 
have like really like intricate designs and some just have regular patterns, but I'm in it for the outside. The inside of this one is pretty cool. No. All right, I don't want to take too much out, but it's got more Park Life print on there. Sorry, it takes so long to stuff these bags. Okay, bin number two. We got two wallets on the top here that I have not used yet, I'll be honest. The first is this Little Mermaid one. This was a gift that someone actually got for me at Hallmark, which now is the paper store, I don't know. Look at Flounder and Sebastian, I love those guys. And this one I showed on a recent haul and it's totally fitting <laughs> with my outfit today. Buzz Lightyear, I'm a big Buzz fan, can you tell? It's just the pattern that goes with my ears so nicely and the back and this is what i'm talking about with the inside of the bags being so well themed we've got aliens on the inside like ooh is right i said that's so weird didn't i <laughs> ooh. i totally forgot to show this wallet when i was filming earlier so i'm just going to insert this here my monsters inc wallet my favorite this is the one i'm currently using it's got Roz on it i mean uh, just absolutely amazing this came from the parks i have other lounge fly goodies i'll be showing in the disney purses video that collection coming soon Okay, I got some holiday ones here. This one I've used a ton. Also got this in the Disney store in Times Square. They were all over the parks. This was the Christmas holiday treats print. Got my Mickey waffle right there in the center. This one feels even nicer than the other ones. I don't know what they did to it, but it's just so nice. Of course, I have the spirit jersey to match this. I feel like there's a couple of other things that I have to match this. Which I will have a Spirit Jersey uh, collection coming soon. And haul because I may have bought a couple during quarantine. On the inside of this, we just have season sweetings and some more foods. Another holiday one that I got as a gift that I'm hoping, fingers crossed the parks are open for me to use it, the Mickey pumpkin. I am very nervous about these um, features getting all ruined, but he's so cute. I don't really like the zipper on this one being inside and down. I feel like it's going to ruin this bag a little bit, but we still got the nice features on the side here. And it's just orange. Love it. We got a black Halloween candy print on the inside there. Sorry again, I'm doing a terrible job of showing the insides, but they're stuffed so nicely. This one, one of my best friends picked up for me for my birthday this year. It's this all over Mickey, like rainbow print. All of his shorts are different colors, which is super fun. It will go with a lot of outfits that way. And it's just that print all over. This actually matches a pair of shoes I got in Walt Disney World last month, which I will link that Walt Disney World haul below if you've missed it, and I will have a shoe collection coming soon. That's probably going to be my biggest collection. The prints on this I actually have not opened. What is... Oh, it's just black and white stripes. And then this one I actually got in Walt Disney World a couple of trips ago. I was terrible about doing a haul from it, so I've never shown it, but it's so Edna Mode, baby. This one is currently on shopdisney.com. The zipper, again, is weird on this one. I won't use it, though, because she's so precious. You just got, like, the pattern of her dress here. This one and the pumpkin one have a similar feel to it. It's kind of like, um, more velvety leather, I guess? And the inside, I will show that on this print. And no capes. Ugh, oh, she's fabulous, darling. So those are my Loungefly mini backpacks for now. It's changing real soon. Haul's coming, little teaser there. These are my big backpacks, which there's clearly more of these. I have problems. Uh, the, <laughs> the first one kind of goes with my last Loungefly one. It's this Jansport Edna Mode backpack. It's my way or the runway, darling. I actually used this when I met Edna. She flipped out over it. I was literally head to toe Edna so fun this one is not my favorite it's kind of a flimsier backpack like it's just like open inside there's no pocket it's very light material so i try not to use this one too much but i am a total fan of the print on this 
This one goes very nicely with my outfit today. I got this, I believe, from Hot Topic a while ago. It is this all over Toy Story backpack. I, let me tell you, I use this when I broadcast live in Hershey and all the people who worked at Hershey Park were obsessed with this, including their characters, which was really funny. But it's just got the gang all over. The back two. I mean, they're all on here. The Green Army Men, Buzz, Rex, Ham, Slinky, the aliens. So fun. So fun. I use this when we broadcasted live. So I work in radio, for those of you who don't know. And if you do know, I'm sorry that I repeat that. We broadcasted live for the opening of Toy Story Land, and I brought this, but then they gave us a backpack, which I will show you. They usually give you some kind of a bag to put all your stuff in. And they gave us this really cool one, Toy Story Land. The sponsor was Baby Bell. It has so many compartments in this, and I love that the outside has uh, like the water bottle holder. It's just a very, very sturdy backpack. I got Captain America chilling here. Um, I, it's got so many compartments. It's got like a headphone thing. It's really, really cool. You can't buy this guy anywhere. And everyone tries to steal it from me, but it's fine. I heard it. <laughs> I actually have a couple of Loungefly bigger backpacks. This is one of my favorites. It gets used so often. The Seven Dwarfs. They're like so cute in this print. You got them all on here. In the Loungefly big backpacks, I'll only open one to show you. They actually have, the prints are, you know, cool on the inside too. We have stripes, but they have that separate compartment for your laptop and just to like keep things separate, which I really appreciate. These are very well-made backpacks. Some of them are pretty expensive, but any of the ones I got have either been on sale or discounted, whatever. Um, so this one I think came from Hot Topic or Box Lunch a while ago though. So you can't get this one anymore, but you might be able to find it on Amazon or maybe even eBay. This one was a gift. I actually have not used it yet. I really want to use it one day in Disneyland Paris. Wishful thinking. But it's this Alice in Wonderland backpack. It's all the tags on. That's embarrassing. I love the Queen of Hearts. I got to play her this Halloween for my job. So fun in the cards. Painting the roses red is like my favorite Alice in Wonderland scene. And you also have the White Rabbit. Print continues on the back. These straps are very cushioned on the Loungefly backpacks. They're very comfortable. They store a lot. They're so fun. Every time I use a Loungefly backpack, I get so many compliments. It's amazing. This one may be my most complimented though, and I think you'll like this as well. Chippendale Rescue Rangers. We've got the hibiscus flowers all over, but then we've got Gadget and Monterey Jack and Chippendale and their Rescue Rangers outfits. The print continues on the back. They're just so cute. And this backpack actually goes with quite a lot. Oh, it's so fun. I have another Disney afternoon kind of backpack. This one I brought to Comic-Con and got a lot of compliments on it. DuckTales, woo! So fun. Launchpad is one of my favorite characters. He's nice and displayed on here. We got Gizmo Duck on here. I mean, they're just all on here. It's so fun and it's so colorful and vibrant. Uh, I think that's it with Lounge Fly. This one kind of reminds me of a Lounge Fly backpack. I cannot wait to use this on my next trip to Disneyland World, wherever I'm going next. This one's coming with me. This one, I saw it in the parks this last trip, so it is still available there. I have not seen it online. It was online. I don't know if it's still online, but it's this 90s like VHS cover backpack and all the classics are on there. My fave Beauty and the Beast. You got Peter Pan, The Little Mermaid, Dumbo's on here, The Lion King, Aladdin. So much fun. Lady and the Tramp and it continues on the back. The colors on this, the pat, I absolutely love this backpack. It's like, okay, it's just black on the inside. But again, it has that laptop compartment and the things, the pouches for your water bottles on the side, all about that. This one I got from the parks. I actually got it in Disneyland. It's currently on sale on shopdisney.com. The Tiki Room, y'all. I love the Tiki Room and I love this backpack. I just used it on my last trip to Walt Disney World. Again, it's got the, the things on the side. It's got all of the tiki's and the birds and it's just so fun. 
it's such a good summer backpack. I usually will use it when I stay at the Polynesian. <laughs> but I love this backpack and I got it. Honestly, I wanted it, but I got it because one of my backpack, the zippers was not working. So I was like, oh, it's a perfect excuse to get this. So here it is. <laughs> This was the backpack that I was having a zipper malfunction with. I think it was just the way things were stored and the way the zippers were. I think it's a great backpack. I'll use it for work, like bringing my laptop to and from work, but I probably won't bring it to the parks again. It's this all over Mickey backpack. It was a gift with purchase from the Disney store. And it's just, it goes with a lot. Just got Mickey all over. Oh, my keychain that was on it, lost. This was a find from Hot Topic, oh my god, like five years ago maybe? Maybe even more than that. Beauty and the Beast. I wish this print was in a Loungefly mini backpack because this is just a weird style backpack for me. I mean, I use it, but I'd much rather use it on that. If you look, take the flip here off, you can see this a little better. I'm having technical difficulties. So it's a, it like snaps open and close and then it's a drawstring. So I feel like on certain rides, things aren't as secure as a zipper. You could fit a lot in it. Things get to me, get lost in here on a drawstring. I'm not a huge fan of what happens when you put things in and the shape of it, but I'm telling you, it was just this print. Ugh, I'm a sucker. This was also before the days of the lounge fly mini backpacks, so. Cute. The next couple of backpacks I'm unsure about. Some of them I've had for a very long time. They're starting to get like their wear and tear, so I don't know if I should keep them or not, but I have a hard time parting with things, so. The first one is the first one I ever got from Hot Topic back in the day when they first started carrying Disney stuff. This Little Mermaid backpack. It just says the Little Mermaid on the bottom here, and it just has her on this black backpack. Also, this backpack gets very warm in the Florida sun, but it gets a lot of compliments. But you can kind of see that strings are hanging out here, so it's um, it's seen a lot of love, this backpack. This one, I went to Disneyland, and it just looks like it's been through the mill, and I've washed it. Uh, it's this Dumbo backpack, also from Hot Topic, but maybe because it's so light, it got a lot of wear and tear. I think I used it for work quite a few times too, so that could have something to do with it. And then this one is actually, my so my friend got this for me when Frozen was at like its peak in the beginning and we were absolutely obsessed. And I, I'm pretty sure it's like a kid's school backpack, but I don't care. It's Anna and Elsa. I put the Olaf keychain on from Hot Topic. It's Anna and Elsa, we got this great zipper compartment in the front, this quilted pattern I do like on the back. And then on the backpack, it's just pink. Um, it's kind of smaller than the other backpacks, but it does fit more than a lounge fly backpack. So I don't know, this is still a fun one. I just don't, I haven't reached for it in a while. It does have the water bottle thing though. Yeah, I think we'll keep this guy. Yeah, who am I kidding? So that's my backpack collection. It's a lot, but I do use them a lot. I change them out for work all the time. I use them for events. I use them for going to like Comic-Con. I use them for the parks, which I go to often. I haven't used them in a while because I haven't gone anywhere. So that's why they haven't been used, but they do get a lot of love and I, <laughs> I can't believe how many I have looking at them. But like I said, there's more coming. So those hauls, yeah, look forward to those. Um, we have more collection videos coming soon. Spirit jerseys, shoes, um, what else? There was, there's other things. I don't know. I'm losing my mind. I have to go back on the air. But yeah, there's that video coming soon. There's a Pixar video coming soon. I've been on such a Pixar kick on Disney Plus and lots more. So thanks for spending some time with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. What was your favorite backpack? Um, do you have a lounge fly backpack that you're just like obsessed with? Maybe share that below too. Um, and let me know what kind of videos you want to see coming. I really love chatting with you guys in the comments below. So thanks if you even if you just said like great haul or enjoy the video it makes my day and I hope these videos make your day as well I'm rambling it's time to end it I'm Christina K have a Disney day now I gotta put them all back <laughs> this is gonna be fun <laughs>